Lend me your brains. Lend me your brains, screeched a highwayman goblin way down in his throat as deep as he ever could dig up a note. And his whole gang creaked and hoarsely squeaked like a hinge that was rusty and constantly streaked. Lend us your brains, lend us your brains, as they ceased my mare's head at the bit by the reins. And a long-haired loon with a razory spoon clipped open my scalp just over my crown, and the skull the same place running crosswise and down, and they hinged the two pieces with screechy brass bands, where they singed off my hair by the touch of their hands. And oh, the pains, the pains, the pains, when they flapped down the cover just back of my brains. My mother came by with a heart-rending cry, and a wretch popped his eyes from the crown of his hat, as he squealed, you'll never again do that. And he sharpened his spoon on the sole of his shoe, did the long beard lout by the liquidy moon. And he severed her brain and her heart in twain, while the rest held me there in my helpless pain. And the long beard loons with their long eared spoons stood up on the top of my topless crown, and then leaped to the depths of the hollow turned down. Oh, they teetered and twinged on the part that was hinged, and they shrieked with delight till the very air cringed. As they sang in their glee how smart they would be when they got all my brains in their novels, you see. And they reached their long spoons, their reachy old loons, way into the cavity made in my head, and scraped and scraped till they thought I was dead. Oh, the pains, the pains, the terrible pains when they spoon from my skull every speck of my brains. Then with spoons for their prize, dragged both of my eyes through that hole in my head of such terrible size. Oh, they thought they would be such poets, you see, and such wonderful, marvelous scholars, you know, when they planted my brains in their noddles to grow. But my, oh, oh, what fools they were, though, for poets, you know, are like underdone dough. And oh, my, oh, what fools they were, though, when they planted my brains in their noddles to grow. But they crammed every grain till their ill-gotten gain cleared down in the pokes of their pocket-like ears and turned over my eyes to their sages and seers. But they soon rued that they had the brains I had had, for they drove every one of them stark staring mad. For the goblins, you see, went crazy like me, as mad as a March Hare ever could be. To my greatest surprise they brought back my eyes, and put them both back as they always had been. Since thought made them crazy, as each one had seen, they restored me my brains with the greatest of pains, and handed me back my mare's bridle reins. Then away and up through the atmosphere flew, and left me as sound and as solid as new. And there was no loon with a goblin spoon, and there never has been and never will be. Whether or not this happened to me, it needn't at all happen this way to all. But whatever you do, or whatever befall, unless the goblins get your nightmare's reins, don't ever, nor ever, go lending your brains. End of poem. <laughs>